Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. Sabrang Jaya Assemblyman Dato Arif Shah Omar has been picked as the Barisan National Candidate to take on Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim in the Pematang Power by election. The sole Barisan representative to retain his seat, his state seat in the Pematang Power constituency in the previous election cried tears of joy when Deputy Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Tun Razak announced his name at the Sanwi Convention Centre. The announcement was made at the launching of the Pematang Pau Barisan National Election Machinery, which was attended by more than 2,000 people. Najib said this is the first time Barisan had chosen a state assemblyman to contest for a parliamentary seat. Perak Police Chief Deputy Commissioner Dato Zulkifli Abdullah says banks should upgrade their closed-circuit television cameras, CCTVs, to provide better pictures to help with police investigations. He said most CCTV recordings taken from banks for investigations could not show the suspect's face clearly. DCP Zulkifli said banks should also install extra CCTVs outside the premises so that they could record the robber's immediate action and their getaway vehicles. Other suggestions given to the bankers were to have more security guards, additional panic bat buttons, a bulletproof partition to conceal security guards and constant reminders to, consume, to customers on their safety. Hospital Pusrawi has terminated the services of medical officer Dr. Mohamad Osman Abdul Hamid, the first doctor to have examined Mohamad Saiful Bukhari Azlan on June 26. Pusrawi General Manager Mahmoud Wan Yaakob was asked to comment on the action of the medical officer when he failed to turn up for work since August 1st. He says labour law sites and officers' services is automatically terminated without notice when he is bound by contract and fails to turn up for work for five consecutive days. He added that the salary of the medical officer would not be paid because he failed to keep in touch with Pusrawi after he ended his leave on August 1st. The government does not plan to change University Technology Mara's UITM's enrollment policy just because of a suggestion from one individual. Higher Education Minister Dato Sri Mohamad Khalid Nordin says the Cabinet did not discuss the issue at its meeting on Wednesday. He told reporters Thursday there is no reason to discuss UITM's enrollment in the Cabinet as it is only one person's opinion. Khalid added that Slango Menteri Besar Tan Sri Khalid Ibrahim should not interfere in matters that do not concern him. For more updates, log on to staronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.